Hello and welcome. I'm Nice Angel. And this is just a folk on the road. You can probably tell by the umbrella it's raining. Yeah. Generally, I like the rain. Not when it gets in my socks. Very unpleasant. That and it's kind of like everywhere, so. It can't seem to make up its mind on which, which, which direction it's wanting to fall. So, there is that. So it's kind of like, umbrella can only cover so much, you know? But anyway, this grim weather actually does lend to my topic today. Which, yeah, actually kind of contradicts it in, to some degree, but no, I don't. Well, as I said in the past, I set up an FA and I started uploading some of my stories. Yep. Well, I uploaded the follow up of one of the stories the other last week and a quote. I had put it at the very end of it. Kind of got stuck in my head. And it's been mauling there for a while, for a little while, so I thought I'd share it with you guys and hopefully see what you think. Primity. Hang on. Alright. Here is the quote. And it's a bit of a long one, so bear with me. Words of hope to those lost. But let's lead through to the unknown and bring into light. Without fear, it will always find new ways of keeping us closer. Extreme close up. Kind of stuffing that in my pocket there. All right. One of the drawbacks to recording on a rainy day. The juggling. But anyway. Uh, and I'm pretty much wet in a hundred different directions. And not in a good way. Anyway. Ah. Ah. That quote was something I wrote about kind of a grim romance. But thinking about it after setting it setting up to upload that the, the story. I started thinking. Yeah, and I did do some editing, but that's a different matter. <laughs> I started thinking about it. That really does apply to a lot of things. I mean, yeah, it's... Grammar's not the best, but yeah. I'm not known for my grammar. But then again, I don't think I'm really that known. So, you know. But anyway. The point of it is, it's the idea of the, that it goes into that in the saying, love conquers all. But this is a different take on it because it's not actually love conquering. It's love protecting, guiding, cherishing. And it does hold a lot of weight when you really think about it. 
mean, this is coming from a bit of a sore spot in, um, on me. I honestly have never had a actual relationship in that regard. I've had, I've had a. Uh, how would I put how? I've had long distance relationships. That's about it. Oh my. There was no tactile relationship to it. It was just all online or over the phone. But I care deeply about it about each of my partners and I still do I hope they're all well safe and what have you but at the same point in time I'm not dwelling on the past and it was actually the last of these relationships that kind of put me in the state I'm in where I don't think I'm healthy enough for a relationship. Simply because it's pretty much one of the last things said in that relationship. Before we pretty much stop talking. They said I was too good for them. I mean, I don't know why it hurt. I, oh, I, I know why it hurt. It's saying pretty much. They don't think I did. They don't. They didn't think that they deserved me or I deserved better. I wasn't with them because I wasn't. That relationship wasn't about being better. Generally, I'm a caring person. Despite my cynical and complainative nature, I'm very caring. I like take, I like helping people. I like taking care of people. It is really bad over here. There is no way I'm doing this with dry feet. Uh, the weather sucks, but anyway, I guess the point I'm getting at is, when I got told that I was too good for them, it hurt, because the, re because the reason why I was with them seemed to have been skewed. I was with them because I cared about them. Suffice it to say, I pretty much loved them. And... It hurt. They stopped talking to me. Probably figuring... Yeah... Uh... If they stopped talking to me, I'd move on. And I had. I just hadn't moved on to anything else. That's when I realized I wasn't healthy for a relationship because... I 
I'm one of those people that can wear, that has many masks. In the past, that's how I used to hide. They weren't physical. They were pretty much metaphorical. I'd have a different mask for different situations. And... Suffice it to say, one of them boiled down to, more or less, Mr. Perfect. The face... The guy that can do it all. No flaws. The ultimate Mary Sue. And I always hated having to wear that mask. And it wasn't even one I created. It was created for me. By each of the relationships I was in. And... Now somewhere along the lines it's stuck. It's stuck in my life and... I can't get rid of it. That's why... I try... That's why I... I'm a heavy smoker. I'm a heavy smoker. I have bad teeth. I'm out of shape. I have... And I've done all these on purpose. To some degree. Because I don't have any flaws. Or at least not flaws most people see. At least with physical flaws, there's something. That I don't take care of myself. That I don't care about my appearance. Things like that. I know I'm going on a tirade about this, but this is the kind of stuff that 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 quote made me think about. It's the idea that when that you're willing to do just about anything for the ones you care about, for the ones you love. No matter the cost, no matter what you have to do. That's what you're going to do for them. Whether it's you, you change yourself, you change the way you do things, what have you. And... And just simply hoping that they're willing to do the same. The idea of it was in the story when both of the characters had passed on, one had been dead for a very long time, and the other had recently died. In the story, she's coming to terms with her death, but because of her connection to the other, she was willing to go into the unknown just to find them. No turning back, no fear, nothing. And that's how love should be. In an ideal world, that's what love is. Willing to go through anything for the people you care about, the people you love.
But this world is so full of hate. It's so full of hate and it's sickening. It's sickening how much hate there is in this world. And I'm no exception. I'm no better than anybody else. The only thing that makes me different is absolutely nothing. I may not think of myself as being human. <laughs> but this is my life right now. This is who I am. And it's because and it's because I care so much about the people around me that I'm willing to go through the through such trials and suffering just to make sure they're taken care of. That's how the world should be. But that's an ideal world. The reality is there's too much hate in this world. And nobody's willing to change it. Nobody's willing to... And it's not just one... Yeah, you have a, a handful of people that they sit, they sit there and go, there's too much hate in this world. We need to change. But even over time, their ideals, their morale, that they pass on to others, was corrupted. And made into more hate. The idea is and it's and it's a sad world it's a sad world life what have you when the mantra of the world is hate those that hate you because that's the world we live in and it's sickening. And I've been carrying on way too long. I went from just sharing a thought to discussing my love life and what I see wrong with the world. And I'm sorry. So I'll go ahead and end, us, end it here. You know the drill. Push the buttons, thoughts, comments, ideas, what have you, down below. And I'll see you all next time. And till then, I'm Nice Angel. This has been just a full from the road. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you have a better day. Peace.